Bonjour mes amis, my name is Freya, and welcome back to the CCSF 2020 Wolfling Run. So, Bob's just died. Um, if you can't tell, based on the lack of change in my makeup and my outfit, uh, I'm recording this the same day I recorded the first episode. It is 1.19 in the morning, and um, I'm ready to go. Don't worry, I got my coffee. I'm not sure uh, what agent I'm going to showcase right now, because um, as I mentioned in one of my announcement videos, we don't have a lot of submissions. Anyway, um, yeah, we didn't have a lot of submissions to speak of, so um, I'm just going to record myself in another video showcasing whatever it is I'm going to showcase, probably some art, and just insert it here. I feel terrible for what happened to Bob in episode 1, so I just want you all to rest easy and know that he's doing just fine. He won a Norn Oscar for his impressive death scene, and is now fabulously wealthy. His new retirement home is the Mushroom Forest Meta Room submitted by Malkin. Auntie's up here. I think she's wall bonking, actually. With those long legs. Evil Karen and Doorgame are in the basement down here. I heard some munching noises, but I don't know what these guys were eating. Oh, I think that's some kind of seed. Yeah, okay, that's some kind of seed. Um, no one's gone towards the death cap that nearly claimed Bob. I mean, Bob was claimed, but not by the death cap. That's just sad, don't you think? Some of them seem to be aging faster. Maybe I just took too long importing them. Adolescent, 26 minutes. Child, 19 minutes. Yeah, I just took too long adding them. It's okay. I don't think the difference is great enough that it will matter once we get into, like, the adulthood stage. Let's see. I want to try to keep an eye on the weeds as much as possible. Because I feel like that's going to be the biggest issue. And Viceroy, but, like... They've been imprisoned, so... Owo, Min, Kiki, and Porridge Cookie are fixing to get crunk. No, no, Kiki and Porridge are out. So Owo and Min are gonna get crunk. Maybe. I mean, they haven't had a drink yet, but they might. No, no, Min's tapping out. Alright, Owo is going to drink alone. That jukebox has some banging tunes. Auntie is still walking into walls. Just different ones now. Is she gonna sleep? She might sleep. She looks sleepy. Is she thinking about it? No? I cannot predict Nornish behavior. Let's spin, I guess. Oh dear. No one but Auntie is showing pain, so they're beating each other up, but not too hard. Yeah, uh, everyone's all clear, so they evaded too harsh of a punishment on that one. Some of them were totally alone and just got angry for a bit. Oh, wait, 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 who died? Who died? Who died? Door game has died. What happened? You were alone! No toxins? Oh, you starved down there. For starch when there's seeds right here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, rip to door game is fun. 21 minutes, final score of two. Forge Cookie might be coming back. Is Owo gonna have a drinking buddy after all? No, Porridge is just gonna play with the elevator. What are you doing? Just pull elevator. What did Owo say she was doing? Eat toy. I don't even know what toy she thinks she's trying to eat. Alright. Okay, now that the Norns have dispersed a little bit, the lag is not quite as bad. Auntie's in pain again. If we have one death per episode, we're still going to have 21 episodes. Or, I guess 20. Since, uh, we don't wait for the last Norn to die. Ah! 
delightful. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Okay, it still gets laggy near the incubator, but elsewhere, we're okay. Alright, everybody's been fed. No one has any reason to starve now. Seriously, that jukebox is... That's banging. I, ju I just... I love it. It's too fun. It gets annoying if they use it over and over and over again, but I have not used c one to ds in a while. I also just don't play creatures for fun anywhere near enough. Love time's not gonna do much since they're not a breeding age. So I'm holding off on that until they are. Relocate. Jules. To the incubator. Oh, did not mean to pick that up. I'm so sorry. So, Owo and Porridge Cookie are just hanging out down there. Neither of them have actually started drinking. But I can't help but think of them as drinking buddies in my head, you know? I think Owo 3 has, like, why not energy? Nobody is at the desert island. And it's a little disappointing. Because I'm pretty sure this plant here has, like, some pretty nasty effects. Fever and coughing. Okay, so it's not terrible. Not like the... Death cap or anything, but enough to make things interesting. They're playing with the microscope, they're so cute. Oh, Auntie is joining them. War time again. wartime lags things out, so maybe it's Norn's trying to do things all at once. Anyway, how have you guys been? I'm still dog-sitting. Uh, if you watch my other videos, you might have seen a big, cute, fluffy white dog in one of my song covers, and he's not mine. He, uh, belongs to an old friend from high school, and I've been watching over him so that, um, he has a place to stay while she looks for a new apartment. And, uh, yeah, my cat hates him. And so to get back at me, she's been peeing in my bed anytime I leave her alone. And so I've been shutting her in my bathroom because she can't enter the main house, otherwise she and the dog ended up fighting. It's just not good. Lately she's been um, chewing up the fibers of my bath mat and swallowing them, and then she threw up like three times. And my room still smells of vomit, and I cannot find the source. I've picked up everything I could find. <laughs> anyway, that's my venting for today. How are you guys doing? How's your 2020 been? Let me know in the comments below. This has without a doubt been the craziest year of my life. Relocate. Oh, porridge cookie, no! Obo's losing her drinking, buddy. the shower. That might actually be close enough that it wouldn't actually matter. Oh, no, they've both left. Okay, where's- there's Porridge Cookie. Okay. Oh, but they like each other. Ah! I'll turn on the shower for you. No, get in there. You are a stinky little man. Alright, cool. Oh, oh, what was going to join him? I hope they end up together. That'd be cute. Reunited. <laughs> Yuck, love. I'm curious, who are you guys rooting for besides your own? I'm not allowed to enter because I don't think that would be fair. So I guess my entry is technically Viceroy. If Viceroy outlives everyone, I win. <laughs> no, I don't. Because, I mean, it wouldn't make much sense for me to, like, give myself the prize. If Viceroy outlives everyone, I give myself a pat on the back. We have an adoption for you today, submitted by Mia. Meet Slacker Dandelion. 
Whenever she's not attending to her needs, she likes to face the camera and pose like the little lady she is. Sometimes she even falls asleep like that, so take a picture of the tiny diva. Ah! Joyous day. This is going to be a slightly kinder episode, I suppose. I mean, we've already had a dev, but at least I'm getting to feed them. Nobody at the island still? We need to fix that. Okay, for lag reasons, I've decided I'm going to move three of them at random to the desert island. And not just because I like the desert island. Puppy? Where is Puppy? There he is. And since I just fed everyone, I'll drop some food here too to keep it fair. Oh, now I'm really separating Owo and Porridge. I feel mean. This next one better be Owo. At the very least, this next one better be female. Because they might just stay there and grow up there, you know? Chungus. Chungus might actually be male, I think. I'm pretty sure Chungus is male. You know, I'm sure in another fandom, if I had, like, not included the no profanities in the names rule, everybody would have, like, really, really rude names. I'm so grateful because, one, the creatures community is just classier than that, and two, some of these names are just great. Chungus.exe anti-disestablishmentarianism. I don't actually know if this is supposed to be pronounced pillow. I'm assuming so. Uh, at verm, is it? But like, that's the best way to spell pillow I've ever seen. Some of them just have like really great names. Like clam and cheese. Evil Karen will always make me laugh. All right, how are these three doing? They're just hanging out, they're vibing. It's all right. I just realized the lift doesn't go up there. Maybe I should have put them one level down. I'm gonna do that. Because I don't actually see them use the teleporter much in this game. Oh, Porridge Cookie already trying to escape. I love it when Norns are trying to get somewhere and they just get scooped up by the elevator. Like that. Alright, they might actually be leaving the island now. <laughs> oh well. I tried. Okay, add bad plant to Lover's Leap. So, this is Lover's Leap. This is the little area that I designated for that event. So, I'm gonna inject this. And I think they all inject on top of each other, so whichever one I happen to pick up, just by clicking in the middle of it. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that. No, come on. Let me just pick up the whole plant. There we go. So that can go right here. So I'm gonna just say maybe hit Norn Puppy. Is Puppy angry? They're wall bonking. They're trapped. Maybe I should have just left them be. I feel kind of bad now. So now the lag is relieved when I go near high concentrations of Norns, so I don't know anything anymore. No one's gone for the alcohol yet. Oh, oh, I heard a kiss pop! No pregnancy, but that means they're mating. So love time is fair game now. Maybe we'll get it, who knows? Maybe instead of waiting until I spin to remove them, I should put them on a timer? Or wait until they kill someone, whichever comes first? Oh, poor Owo. Oh no. Ha, get it? Owo, oh no. I shouldn't be making jokes at a time like this. Oh, oh, the poor thing. Why is nobody standing up to them? Little bunny tofu, no! 
Yeah, I'm gonna put on like a like a two minute timer. Google. Set a timer for two minutes. Alright, I will remove Viceroy in two minutes. Well, the submarine's here. Maybe they can finally leave. Oh, woes in pain again. Oh, just from wall bonking? Okay. No, they're all gonna be too far to the right when it leaves. I just know it. Anti-disestablishmentarianism loves Man-Man. And Man-Man loves her back. Um, seems I see jalapeno is quite popular. So is clam and cheese. And Georgie. <gasps> they actually made it out! Oh, good for those three! I wonder if Porridge, Cookie, and Owa will be reunited. Relocate. Stop! Okay. Gonna remove Viceroy first. Oh, they're not hurting anybody. It's okay. Alright, who am I relocating? Rebabel. To the incubator. Oh, oh, someone's pregnant. And it's Georgie. And the father is... Darth Plagueis. These two are gonna get sent back, I just know it. Oh, woe's in pain again? I don't know what she's up to. And somebody's making a dying sound, and evil Karen is pregnant. Father is chungus.exe. Okay, but I am just past the 30 minute mark, and since nobody is actually actively dying right now, I think I'm gonna call it here. Ah, wait, Georgie has laid her egg, so we'll hatch that first. And you know what, I'll wait for Karen's egg too. Okay, so this is a funny coincidence, but um, Protective Tub gave her the name Pasty Fallow, and she has a fallow norn head. I think that's cool. So, uh, born to Georgie and Darth Plagueis, Pasty Fallow. They each get five points, and Karen has laid her egg. Oh, he's cute! Oh, I like that! I like that, like, combination of sprites. I'm surprised the Siamese and Hardman go so well together. I might breed them later, if I, like, actually play for fun. Protective tub gonna name him or Okay, and we have a pregnancy. Gelatinous series. Alright. Born to Evil Karen and Chungus.exe. Each gets five points. I'll check out who this pregnancy is from and then I'm ending the episode. Min Stinkina is pregnant. Only possible father is Rebabel. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!